everybody, so it is day three of our trip and the current official second day of St. Con. Uh, we just got back from breakfast and now we're getting ready for the day. Stayed up till about two, working on some of the hacker challenges. Figured out some stuff about the badges and uh, one of the challenges. So for most of the badges, uh, what everyone is telling us is you just have to go walk around and ask people for them pretty much. You have to know certain people about how to do certain things like there's, there's those guys. I don't know if you can see him. Oh, yep, right there. This is like be because you come over there. So some of the, a lot of these you do have to earn and those are some of the cooler ones. Others you can donate uh, to make things better. And uh, yeah, overall it's just fun. There's, try and get as many as you can. Alright, so at this point I have earned about four badges and what I'm working on now is a box tampering thing. And I, right now I gotta pop this thing unlocked using like a soda can. Uh, I've gotten that box open. How do I get the badge? But now this is not fun to do. Okay, so something really cool just happened. On the badge, like right there, there's, you can go into a setting and what it says is CompuKid Mike. Turns out that's a handle for a person and we just met him. He's right there, right there. And he just gave us some more badges. It's like a button and a Christmas light. Putting them in the order that I've attained them, I just don't have all of them soldered on, which that's going to change soon. Have you guys figured out how to get in that yet? Nope. They're no. not gonna well, we, we, pick, we picked it wrong twice. We picked it wrong we twice? It the wrong direction. So what exactly do you have to do? You have to lock pick, pick the, the door, door, get it open, or you can take the door off its hinges. There's, there's, there's he said four ways to get in. You can take the door off its hinges? Yes. So we what if I just tool. karate kick this door down? Will they that appreciate would be that? against the rules. That would be against the rules? You can't vandalize. Oh, okay. Let's see, what does that say? Cheap Sheep Enterprises. And there's a security camera right there. Uh-oh. You guys have one minute. Better hurry up. You can do it. I believe in you, Tavian. Come on, Tavian. You got this. No pressure, Tavian. 45 seconds, Tavian! You got the lock picking one right, you can do this. Push it in. Yeah, I did, but I'm not part of your group. You kicked me out. I didn't kick you out. Well, you didn't, but all of you did collectively as a group. someone to give us their card? Social engineering. I mean, if, if you can, sure. Okay. You can't talk And honestly. Wait, is social engineering an option for this one? Hey, don't let anyone take your car. Okay, uh, <laughs> just enough to pay money to I'm gonna tell you right now, Jordan. What's in there? <laughs> Three! Come on, Tavian! Two! Come on! One! Do it! Oh, wow, wow. Oh. Rest in peace. So, guys, that's that's one of like four or five ways into the store, okay? Yeah. So think about it, reevaluate. There's a couple other ways. And there's you can't, the, uh, oh wait, we can't you can put under the yeah, uh, hinges. Kind of, there is a thing, but. So if we I don't know what they're called. If we have a screwdriver, can we unscrew it? Unscrew what? Well, like, unscrew. One of the screws that's is kind of, gonna, that's it's kind of. It's kind of. She's going to take the handle off. They literally the set in the rules. In. Oh, okay. I didn't read the rules because you guys kicked me out. All right. This, bag is this is fun. Okay, so Octavian and I are at right now is, let's see, what's it called? It's like St. Con, uh, Con After Dark. Yeah, St. Con After Dark, which even though it's past many children's bedtimes, uh, it's also the family friendly one where you're supposed to bring your kids and stuff and people get it free without a ticket. And they've got some extra stuff here like some robots and loud music. I don't know if you can hear this at all, but I have such a headache right now. Like, I think I'm probably just dehydrated, and this DJ is not helping whatsoever. Right now, uh, we're trying one of the hacker challenges where we have to do a thing called war walking. And that's one of the challenges right there. So, you can't really see this, but this is a door 
and you're supposed to get in on the other side. We tried heating up a little st stick with the hot pan and then putting it under there because there's a sensor on the other side. However, that didn't work, so as I always say, when in doubt, remove the door. Guys, so like the Wi Fi is a backpack. That guy has a backpack, like with LEDs, get out of the way, of LEDs and modems. That's cool, right? Yesterday, and we just, what do you hope to learn? You want to start and what do you guys think you want to learn? Like, what, what do you want um, to know for next year if you do come here? Through my personal experience, I think that I need to learn more about assembly code and um, reverse engineering, um, like binary executables and stuff, because there was two challenges on that. And then I also need to pre-install Hashcat and download Rainbow Tables before I come. No pressure. I just thought it was kind of cool yesterday. I did a five pin lock. I lock picked a five pin lock. It was pretty cool. We'll come back to you. What about you? Uh, I learned how to break into lots of different things, including tamper resistant devices, uh, further illustrating that our physical security is not always what we think it is. Yeah, I cut myself several hundred times with a pop can trying to get into one of those zip ties. <laughs> so, so, but I got in, so, got in, and I got my badge. Nice. All right. And that was with the tamper evidence? Yeah, it was tough. What I learned today, yeah, I learned how to get into a door using film, stuff like old film. Uh, to get in door handles. Um, alternate ways to take a door off of its hinges. Got some more badges for my badge. Talked to a lot of people. And yeah, that, that, was, that was about it. I learned if everyone had quantum computing at their own hands, it would be hard to have passwords. Nice. Oh yeah, that too. I remember that. I learned that, like, phys physical security, in hardware in general, not necessarily breaking into things, but like there's a lot of ways to do things like breaking into the door. Like in our server room right now, we have a physical lock on the server room in the S building and it was not there last year. So um, people are upgrading security all the time, but if we go back to the lockpick thing, why would you need to know how to pick a lock? I'm not going to do that, Brett. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. But just, just so you know, the physical security and the digital security, if you have access to the physical servers, it's not a good thing. So right now what I am doing is I am currently building my own mini badges because they give you these little kits that come in bags like that and they give you all the different parts, give you LEDs, resistors, lots of fun stuff. And what I'm doing is some might consider the cheap way out. Instead of just soldering them on, I'm using a liquid solder and then putting them in this technological easy bake oven to heat them up so that they come out nice and neat. Then I'm gonna have to solder the actual pins on. Right now, working on this, where is it? Working on this lovely Idaho themed one. And uh, hopefully we can get them all done without too many errors. Okay, so this elevator that we're taking here, we have to go up and down it a lot, and it just makes me so sick, and everyone else. Like, unlike normal elevators, where they're supposed to be smooth, this one is bumpy and rickety and fast, and we just feel so wobbly after using it. Like, we get out, like, and right now, I feel, like, sick, almost, as I'm bouncing up and down. You did that! That's all. I didn't get any of that on film, but I did get that last part. Dude, I can get to any room! Okay, so... Yeah! Dude, I can get into any room!
Oh my gosh. So he just took that film, put it over, and then opened the door. Guys, he got in using it the film. It worked. It worked. Oh. And I actually got it off. Film. Dude, can you do it again? Do it again. I think I broke it a little bit, but. Dude, do it again. Either way. All right. So I got that very last part on camera. That's like the only actually good thing that I got on camera. Actual? Uh, well, I mean, there have been plenty of actually good things, but like oh. lots of the best ones are the ones that I don't get on camera. What'd you do, pull the handle with it? Well, yeah, so this is one of the things that we're learning at SaintCon, is how to open doors using film, and Tavian happened to have some film on him. This is a hotel room. He did it. He did it? He did it, he's trying it again. So this is an actual hotel room. It's locked, we can't get in, and then he's gonna unlock it from the inside. Imagine waking up and then seeing the snake down. Like he already did it once. Boom, he just did it again. <laughs> All right, Tavian, yeah. Tavian, can I try? <laughs> How'd you get on the floor nine? Do you want to do you want to go into a mysterious room? Fan floor, floor back. No. We can. There's a room that we can open, but we are. Yeah. Do. Please. I just hope I can get it. Great guys. Happy birthday to you.